Welcome to Excel at Data Mining. My name is Billy Decker. I'm a business intelligence consultant that works for StatSlice, a consulting firm based out of Dallas, Texas. And today we're going to talk about how to create and read a classification matrix in less than five minutes using the uh, data mining add-in tool for Microsoft Excel. So we're just going to start off with our workbook uh, DM add-in sample data here. And we're actually going to be using a mining structure that we've created in past videos. So simply all you have to do is go to the data mining tab here across the top, click on the classification matrix. On this first page we're actually going to pick our mining structure and when we pick a mining structure we're actually going to analyze every single model associated with that mining structure. Now on this page you picked the actual mining column you wish to predict which in our case is just one column and these two options right here uh, basically you're selecting what type of output you want what sort of matrices that you want to output we're going to leave them both up so we can see them both on this final page um, well not necessarily final for us it's going to be final because we're actually going to use the test data from the mining structure but if you wanted to use test data from another source that's um, not within your mining structure if it's within the workbook you can use both these table and data range options and if it's in something like SQL Server um, you can actually use this external data source to connect to it. And then we go ahead and click finish here. And that's pretty much it when it comes to actually creating a classification matrix. Now before we kind of go over how to read this chart, um, let's talk a little bit about how we can actually analyze um, how our models perform against test data. Now keep in mind, this test data is actually the data, was not data that was used to create our model. It was data that we set aside at the very beginning when we are creating our mining structures and models so that we could actually do something like this and test the performance against it. So, let's say we have customer A and we predict that she is definitely going to buy a bike. Well, we have really two things that can happen here. Either she's gonna buy, or either she bought a bike or she didn't buy a bike, right? So in the first case is what we would call a true positive, and in the second case is what we would call a false positive. The positive being we predicted um, that she would, and then the true meaning that she actually did, and the false meaning that she actually didn't. Using a similar type of thinking process, uh, we can think in terms of also someone that we predict is not going to buy a bike. We either get a true negative or a false negative. So the main point of this is that we can take our predictions and put them into four different buckets and that's really what a classification matrix is all about is uh, looking at each of these buckets and how your model performs according to each bucket. So starting off over here um, at the top is just some summary data and what this is is the total correct and total miscla or misclassified where in this case correct actually means that you were correct about them either buying a bike or not buying a bike so it includes both of them it's not just people that oh we hit upon this person so we can expect to sell uh, 63 percent of the time it's how often you were right about both cases and then next to that is just the uh, simple count of cases this is actually the actual number of cases that you got correct and this is the number of cases you got incorrect now below this this is actually what we've been building to this is our actual matrix right here so we know across the top we have um, zero and one actual that's no and yes actual whether people actually bought a bike or didn't buy a bike and then and these represent the columns and then here across on the rows or on the side of the matrix we have what we predicted we predicted they wouldn't or we predicted that they would so looking at each part of the matrix, let's try and identify them. So this one, uh, they didn't actually buy a bike, and we predicted they wouldn't buy a bike. So this is what we call a true negative. So dropping down to here, we have the other 38% um, of the people that didn't buy bikes, and, but we predicted that they would buy bikes. So this is what we call a false positive. And so we, we were able to correctly identify about 62% of the people that wouldn't, weren't actually buying bikes in this case. So then jumping over to the other side here, we have our case where we have the people who did actually buy bikes, but we predicted they wouldn't. And then we have actually buying bikes, and we predicted they would. So in this case, it was a false negative, and in this case, it was a true positive. 
And in a similar case right here, instead of percentages, these are just the actual raw numbers in our matrix. And down below this is actually just the same type of matrices except for um, just our other model that we analyzed. And that is how you actually create and read a classification matrix in less than five minutes using the data mining add-in tools for Microsoft Excel. Thank you very much for watching.